today's video what we'll be doing is that we'll get all the inputs from this form right here and we'll save them into our database and we'll also be using PHP to actually send the information from the form to our database it's gonna be a nice tutorial if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel I always release videos like this on web development and tech so you know what join the family and yeah that's it for now let's get to the main video now we're in our HTML page this is our index.html file and right here on beside the form tag what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it an attribute of action and the value of this action is gonna be we'll give it basically connect dot PHP so this is a file we're gonna create and after that we also need to give it a method and the method is gonna be a post and that's it for the form section the next thing we need to do is that we need to actually give our inputs we need to give them a name and we're gonna use this name to actually refer to this inputs so the first I'll call the first name and that's the name of that and you can use the camera notation the second you can see the name here is last name I already did that and now for the gender because the gender we have different options so the gender the first input has what it has gender as a name but we also need to give it a value so this value and this is the male we'll give it a value of M for the female we'll give it a value of F and for the other we'll give it a value of O and yes for the for this side this is the email we'll give it a name of email and also for our password right here for the password we'll also give it a name of password and yep phone number you can see the type you could make it number or you could also make it tell and for the number we'll give it a name of number and this is all for the index.html file the next thing we need to do is you just need to go to your file right here and you click right here and you create a connect .php. I already have this file here so you see it's actually telling me that you can't create it but what you should do is actually create this so that's it so now we have our connect.php right here but before we actually do a lot of things the first thing we're going to do in our connect.php is we're going to we're going to basically put our php tag and also close the tag the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use those names we created and we're going to get that data into the php file and the way we do that is we use the dollar sign and then we say first name is equal to dollar sign underscore post square brackets first name now we're going to do this six times so I'm just going to copy this paste it paste and paste and we'll change this to last name last name this is going to be gender and gender right here the next one is going to be email let me change email right here and the last is going to be number And yeah so that's it for this part the next thing I'm just gonna comment this right here we're gonna connect the database database connection but before we create the database we need to go to our MySQL and actually create the space where this data will be stored into for your PHP my admin to work you need to click on start Apache and also start MySQL make sure you do this before you actually create the link 
and yep we get right here and you click on new and when you click on new now the first thing you need to do is you need to give your database a name and i'm gonna call it validate form and i'll change this to collation and then we create the database now we've created our database here we'll give it a name for the table because we need to create a table and the name I'm going to give the table is registration. Registration one. And the columns here are going to be seven. And after that, we click go. Now we have it. Yeah. And the first one is going to be ID and we're going to make it auto incremented. And the way we do that is we click right here. It's going to be a primary index and yep, that's it for that. The next one is going to be first name. Our first name is going to be Varchar. I will give the first name 50 OM. The second is going to be last name. Our last name is also going to be Varchar. I will also give it 50 length. The third is going to be, or the fourth is going to be gender. And gender, we're going to give it enum so you need to look for enum right here click on enum and now we need to edit values and we're going to have three so i remove one and the first one is going to be m the second is going to be f and the third is going to be o for other and then we click go so now we can see we have that there now we do email And it's also going to be Varchar. And after that, we'll give the email 52, length of 50. And the next is going to be password. And password is going to be Varchar2. And we'll give it a length of 20. And the last is going to be number. And we'll give it a big int and length of 10. And now we've created our table. Everything looks great. And what we'll do next is we'll just click save. And you can see right here, we've saved our table. So now we need to go to our PHP and actually make it possible to send the data to this table right here. The way we create the database connection is that we give it a variable name of con and we say new MySQL I. And inside here, inside this colon right here, we are running for a local host and the username is root and the password is blank. We do not have a password for it. And also we call the table, which is validate form. This is the table we just created. Now what we do right here is we say we check the connection and if the connection is an error, then what we can say is we can say connection failed right here. And then we can say the error that actually made it fail. After that, we have our else. And if there is no error, then this else part right here is going to execute. So that's what we have right here. The first thing we have to take is we have to take the prepare right here. And inside this prepare, we're writing the inside query. So this is the inside query right here. And you can see right here, we have the first name, last name, gender, email, password and number and for the values we give them a question mark now the next part is want to bind these question marks which are right here with the right data so that's why we use the bind param and right here why we have this sssi is that we're specifying five strings and one integer because you can see right here that the only integer we have is we're taking is number but the rest are all string first name last name gender email password and then number is the only integer that we take. Yeah, and after that, what we do right here is that we pass the variable name for the bindings. So that's what we're doing right here. And finally, what we do right here is that we execute the query. And then we print out the message that's going to show up when everything has been successful. So that's why you see here registration is successful. So we'll put Sam here, last name code codes mail 
sam at yahoo.com password of one two three four five phone number of plus three four one two three four five six ten and we'll click OK and now we write browse we can see it right here we have our number we have the password we have the email gender last name first name so we have all this stored in our database right now and yep that's it for this tutorial if you liked it if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe to the channel and you know what i'm gonna wrap things up and i'll keep things moving and i'll see you in another youtube video